Hello everyone, welcome back to Jeffrey and today I'm going to show you how to get more FPS in Minecraft 1.19.2. So the settings I'm going to show you today are in Minecraft and also I will be showing you some stuff you can download as well to boost your FPS. But in this video you're not going to see too much of an FPS boost because my computer is already pretty good and I don't really need to do all these settings for uh, my computer. But today I will show you some good settings you can do if you're using a laptop or a old computer, something like that. And if your Minecraft does not run that well, these settings should help it a lot. Now I quickly want to say that if this video does help you out at all, I really appreciate it. Did leave a like on the video. And if you subscribed as well, that would be amazing. So as you can see right now, I'm actually in Minecraft right now in a world. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring my F3 menu up right now. And you can see the FPS I am getting up in the corner just there. It's roughly around about 300 FPS at the moment and this is just default minecraft but with some of these settings i should be able to boost that a little bit more in minecraft so the first thing we're going to want to do is actually click the start button then click in the options button just here and then the video settings just here and in here is a bunch of settings you can change a lot of stuff in here that should be able to boost your minecraft fps so the first few big things to change is actually your revolution for your minecraft now if you're on a laptop you're going to want to turn this down to about 1280 by 720 so something like something like that just about here so once it's got 1280 by 720 that is a pretty good start to test that and see if that helps your fps in minecraft but also make sure you do select full screen on i'm not going to do that because it will mess up this recording so i don't really want to mess up the recording so yeah try these settings see if that helps your fps and also a good setting to do as well is actually the graphics so you're going to want to turn this down to fast now this will change a few things in your minecraft but this is a very good setting to change to fast if you're having troubles with fps i recommend changing that to fast and also your render distance move this down to about a 10 or even try lower than that and see how much fps you get so you could move this down to about seven or eight now this will change quite a few things in your minecraft as you can see it's quite foggy now in my minecraft because the render distance is uh, quite a long way down and this here should have boosted my fps as you can see i'm getting about 600 fps with this chunk turned down like this so I'm back in the settings right now i'm actually going to move this back up to about a uh, 14 i'm going to move that to a 14 so the simulation uh, distance you can turn this down as well this is how far animals move so if you don't want to have animals moving in a distance you can just turn this down all the way down like that and you can see some of the animals in the distance just over there won't move they just stay still so yeah you can leave that if you like to or if you don't like that just simply turn it back up again and then the animals in the background will move in the distance but for the best fps i recommend turning this down it doesn't really matter too much about that now your fps you're going to want to turn this right up to maximum unlimited just there just turn it all the way up that is the best thing to have also the v-sync i'll turn that off that's probably the best thing to turn off and mid map levels you can turn this up to four but for the best fps you can turn it down a little bit it won't do too much but you can turn that down as well also the clouds you can turn these to off as well that will help your fps slightly won't do too much but that will help now that is the settings you can do in minecraft to help boost your fps and now we will actually move over to some client side so you can actually download some stuff to actually help boost your fps even more so the first client you can download is actually bad lion client now this client does actually help boost your FPS and also does a lot of other stuff as well. As you can see just here, it does boost your FPS. So yeah, you can boost your FPS by using their client. But only thing I don't like too much, you've actually got to log in with your Minecraft account to actually access the client. Now it is all safe. I've done it in the past. I don't use it anymore because my PC is pretty good. But yeah, in the past, I used to use this to help boost my FPS in Minecraft. So yes, this is an option you can use to actually boost your FPS. But if you don't want to log in with your Minecraft account, no worries, we've actually got something else you can use as well. And that is Optivine. Now Optivine does boost your FPS in Minecraft a lot and it's very simple to install and you don't need to log in with your Minecraft account. So it's actually very good to boost your FPS. And also they have loads of other versions here as well you can download. Now if you want to know how to download and install Optivine, I will leave a link in the description down below to a video I made on how to actually install Optivine. And it is very easy and it should only take you like two minutes to install. But if you want to get more FPS than Optivine gives you, you can install sodium so yeah this actually helps you get so much more fps in minecraft now this is a mod you do need to download this mod and also you do need to download fabric as well to actually make this mod work so i will show you how to actually install sodium and it is very simple so what you're going to want to do is actually click on the files button just here and then once you're onto this page just click on the downloads button here and then it should start downloading sodium 
And then while this is downloading, you're going to want to download Fabric as well. So download this for Windows. I've got mine downloaded just now. So as you can see, mine is downloaded just here, my Fabric. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually load up this file just here. And if you can't find your files, they should be in your download folder. So yeah, just look for your downloads folder. They should be in there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually install the Fabric. So click on the Fabric. And then you get this menu just here. It comes up. And what you're going to want to do is just click in the Install button just there. And once you click that, it should install all fine and everything should be working but i'm not going to install it because i've already got it installed so i'm going to close that down for now so the next thing we're going to install is actually the sodium just here now you don't want to click on sodium that won't work you actually need to find your minecraft mods folder and that is actually very simple to find so to get to your mods folder all you've got to do is actually load up your minecraft launcher and then you've got to click on installations just here and then from here just click on the little folder button just here and that should bring you over to your Minecraft directory. And once you are in your Minecraft directory, all you need to do is actually find your mods folder. But if you can't find a mods folder in your Minecraft directory, you can always make one. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to delete my one just there. So now it is actually deleted. Now, obviously, if you've got a mods folder, you don't need to delete it. I'm just showing you how to actually make one if you do not have a mods folder in here. So simply just right click, click on new, then click on folder. Then simply just call this mods just like that. And now you've got a mods folder, very simple. And yeah, basically you've got a mods folder now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do now, it's actually move this sodium file just here into your mods folder just like that. And you've actually installed sodium. So that was very easy and very simple. But I do wanna mention that installing this does change up a lot of your settings in Minecraft. So you will need to do your settings again. And also before you play Minecraft, make sure you do use your fabric mod loader as your sodium will not work. So just use that and click on play. So as you can see, we are back in Minecraft right now. And the FPS I get on Minecraft is roughly around about 500, 600 with sodium installed. Now, if you want to know if sodium is actually installed, just simply click on start, click on options and click on video settings. And you can see right here, everything has changed inside of video settings. And here you can change all of your settings for your Minecraft as well. So yes, this does actually help your FPS a lot in Minecraft to boost it. Also, there's another tip you can do as well to actually help boost your FPS in Minecraft, which I haven't mentioned just yet. So this bonus tip is actually in your Minecraft launcher. So I'm in my Minecraft launcher right now. And what you're going to want to do is just click on installations just here and you're going to want to find the minecraft you are playing on so i'm actually playing on fabric loader just now so what you're going to want to do is actually hover over the fabric loader and then click on the three little dots on the end just here and then click on the edit button then once you've clicked on the edit button just come down a bit further and click on more options here and come down even more and right here you can see there's a little two just there now it depends on how much ram you've got on your computer you should be able to bump this up to about a six and that will help your minecraft get a lot more fps see i recommend changing it up to about a six but you do need to know how much ram you've got on your computer now to find this you usually just have to go into your computer settings and go to your about page and then you should be able to see your ram in there now i've got 64 gigabytes of ram so i can easily move this even higher if i wanted to but six is about good you do not need to go any further than this now if you've got eight gigabytes of ram I recommend just keeping this at a six. It should be all right. But if not, change this down to about a four. And if you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, six gigabytes in here should be absolutely fine. And you should be able to run this absolutely perfect. So yeah, that's all you need to do in here is just bump this up just there. Then all you got to do is click on save just there. Then come back over to play and you should be able to play your Minecraft and get more FPS. If you want to know more settings about your Minecraft to boost your FPS, I recommend checking out this video just here on screen. So yeah, that is it for this video and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.